guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Afrodisha and over here, natural hair is the topic. Right? It's just straightened, it's so natural. Let me make myself really that. So anyway, today I just want to share a few tips on thickness of hair and health of hair and how I got my hair to a totally different level of thickness and health. This was how my hair looked when I was into straightening my hair. This is my hair as of right now, okay? And then this is how my hair used to be when I used to wet it and try to make curls. Uh, as far as I knew about curls. And this is how my hair looks today when it's wet with curls. Hopefully it still looks like that when I go back to curly hair. First step. I cut out all heat. So I'm not saying cut out all heat because clearly I used heat. This was actually my first straight hair vibe in five years. So I think I deserved it. But whatever you are doing, cut down half of it. Like that should be the minimum. I cut out heat straightening, direct heat I'm talking about. I cut it out completely five years ago. After I cut out heat five months later, I did a big chop and from then I've just been sticking to all these tips that I'm going to give you and that's how I got my healthy hair. So first things first, we need way less heat guys. I won't say my hair was ever thin, but my hair was much thinner than it is now. So much easier to get straight, my ends. It was like my hair was thinning to the end. I don't know if you get that like where your hair breaks off so much that your hair just starts getting thinner because it's breaking. Like there's just not the same amount of strands anymore. So the next one that really helped with the thickness was low tension hairstyles and low manipulation. When I'm wearing my hair curly, my hair is majority of the time loose in curls, doing what it wants to do. Braids and twists, that is perfect for low tension. You can do it at once while still being intact and very presentable. So I really suggest those hairstyles. You can check out my video of things that save my hair. That's where I go over a lot on hairstyles and everything. So yeah, low manipulation. Tension also causes hair to thin and causes stress in the strands and causes it to break. So we don't want any of that. So stick to low maintenance hairstyles, low tension, low manipulation, things that your hair does naturally that you don't have to put in too much strain to do. Okay, so I know a lot of people might feel some type of way about this, but I feel like it, it was a necessity. And next I'm going into oils and I'm going to be speaking about two oils. So the one oil, very controversial, that is coconut oil. A lot of people feel like it makes the hair feel dry, brittle, just not the best. What I would say for you that doesn't like coconut oil, I would really say use it in a pre-poo or use it in your deep conditioning. That way you can get the benefits while still rinsing the coconut oil off. The coconut oil is really great guys. It's one of the most penetrating oils, so it really gets deep into your hair strand. It gets like to the middle part and it really strengthens it so whatever you feel about coconut oil just put it aside and use it and see how your hair actually reacts after a while i also had that way i didn't like coconut oil the way it felt i then started using it solely as just a pre poo process and i loved it i loved it it changed my whole mind on coconut oil so i really suggest that next we're moving on to my favorite liquid gold and that is jamaican black castor oil i speak about it in all of my videos probably after using jamaican black castor oil that was when i could really like see results immediately after using it for like a week on my hair my hair started looking fuller and just just fuller that's what i could say but my strands didn't really make a big difference i felt my strands started getting stronger like as in when i tug on it i really give it into thickness and then stimulating growth like really, that's an oil I would suggest put on your scalp and on your ends. Coconut oil, I really actually just focus on my hair. My scalp, not that much with coconut oil. It's quite easy. Very easy to block pores with coconut oil. So I keep that on my hair. Jamaica my castle goes on the hair and on the scalp. Next one is a tip that is slipped on. And that is you're going to have to start using protein. Protein is what all the damage, manipulation, heat, everything that you're doing. Think of your hair strand like this, and you know like cheese has like small little cuts in the cheese with holes. That's all the damage and everything, that's what it does to your hair strand. So protein is the 
the part that plugs in those holes of your hair. So that is going to help, obviously, with stickiness. It's going to help with structure, it's going to help with strength. I know naturals that are very heat trained don't like protein that much. And also some naturals are scared of protein overload. There are so many protein conditioners on the market. I use my moisturizing conditioner, but I make sure I have a protein conditioner. Once or twice a month, I can use my protein conditioner. I also do do dedicated protein treatments, rice water, protein deep conditioners. Like there's a lot of things you can do that isn't just pure protein on your hair. So you don't have to get like that strong reaction of protein. But I would really say invest in something with protein, even if it's a style of protein. It's really going to help your hair mend itself. Next is another tip that I do all the time on my channel, and that is trims. Trim your hair, guys. So even if you're just trimming a little bit, I'm not really worried about single strand knots. There's nothing you can do about that. That is going to be a thing. But split ends is what we need to get at with the trims because when your ends are split at the end and you don't do anything, you're just continuing with manipulating and brushing your hair and doing everything, that split is going to rise up to a point where it gets one strand is going to be split in two, which means it is super weak, much more prone to breakage. You just don't want your split ends to rise. Also, what that's going to help with is fullness, like the look of fullness on your hair. When the back of your hair is faded out like that because of all break points, it looks kind of thin. If you cut yourself a blunt cut, all your ends are nice and healthy, nice and full. It's going to give your whole hair a fuller look. So yes, I do say keep up with your trims. You don't need to go crazy and do it like every three months. Like I thought that's how you need to do it. You actually don't guys, like you really don't. You can cut your hair every six months depending on the damage that you cause to your hair. And then we made it to our last step, which is very simple, deep condition. That is going to keep your hair in a healthy condition. Like there's nothing else I can say, just deep condition. Don't deep condition too long though, guys. That's one thing. You can deep condition too much and too long. Keep your deep conditioners on for 15 minutes. That should do enough. Don't sleep overnight with your conditioners. Don't leave it overnight. You are pushing yourself to be prone of moisture overload and there is an unpleasant it's like the opposite of protein overload but it's also horrible so yeah guys that is my six steps for you to keep your hair nice and full and thick and healthy and growing so if you watch this far then please comment thickums thickums i'll put the spelling down here the next video will be washing your wings dread so stay tuned for that put on your post notifications so you hear but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and God bless.